in this in this society. So it's like, okay, are, am I overloaded in my mind today? Um, am I thinking so too much? Am I trying to figure out X, Y, Z? Of course I am. Okay, can I? take a break and balance that out with the other parts of me and see where I'm really, who's in the driver's seat. The same goes with the groin and what I mean by by referring to the groin, it's not only is our genital, are our genitals there and our sexual expression and our sex drive and our ways that we relate intimately, but also our creativity and money, finances. Or am I being driven today by my need to survive and make some money or you know achieve that position or that get that raise and all those are great it's just if that's the main thing only we're the only thing we're listening to we're going to be out of out of balance and some of our other bodies are going to suffer quote suffer yeah there's going to be a um, this ease potentially that will erupt from that um, and that takes me back to the fact that this is our physical body the most dense and so it kind of moves the slowest out of all of our body. So if we have things going on in our mental body, our emotional body, that's there and present in our energy field and is going to be there and then eventually get into the physical body. And that's when we can really start. That's when we feel it. That's when we see it, you know, with things manifesting in our body. So it's ideal for us to be aware, be conscious of all these different aspects of our lives and be uh, um, attentive to them so they don't hang out there so long that then they start rolling into town, into our physical body and causing uh, problems that we don't necessarily want to be walking around with in that way. So listening, tapping in, breathing, bringing awareness, we can't create any change unless unless we are aware of it. So it's like loving ourselves through the process of recognizing where we are out of balance, bringing ourselves back into balance, and then identifying what we might need to remedy, taking it out, and what we might need to receive, to bring back in as we create space, and as we are in this flow of life. And the outflow, and then the inflow, just like the breath, <sighs> as Christian said, just like the breath, and just like the um, tide, just like the natural flow of life, the energy is neither created nor destroyed, it's just, it's transformed, and how can we transform it in our world, on any of our body levels, to bring us more into harmony, so that we can be fully present with our own needs, our own heart, our own love, and open up those pathways so we can receive more with ease and grace, with less resistance, less toxicity, less stress, and have more of our needs. <laughs> Just know it and trust it. And when we're out of alignment, as we refine this over and over and over again and every day, as we're out of alignment, then we'll notice it really quickly. And know where to go. So just like as we refine, potentially, I'm where I'm at now with my diet. I have a very refined diet. And I know specifically where I can go to get the food that I need. So it's like as we refine, we'll know specifically how we can get our needs met, how we can feel our bodies resonate in that frequency that's truly what's appropriate for us. Because as Steve said at the beginning, I, I know the truth for me, what I was, what I was, I was hearing is the truth for me is not necessarily the truth for you. You know, I don't know what your truth is, but when I find mine, I'm committed to walking my truth and living my truth and living in alignment with what works for this body. Not only physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, <laughs> financially, astrally, probably spiritually, all, all of those bodies of mine and the heart the heart the mind and the groin will naturally come into alignment as well with that and we can walk through this world with empowerment and grace and compassion and love mm.